Hello everyone, uh, lovely to be with you again. Thank you for joining me for Focus for Today. The verse I want to leave with you today is found in 1 Timothy chapter 1 and in verse 15. And it says, This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. It's a very well known gospel. Uh, verse but you know there's something where this verse came from and the meaning of it I feel is important to us as we come into this Christmas period and also obviously for just for our lives to break down this verse it says faithful saying means you can depend upon it and all acceptations are welcomed by every man or woman Paul's expressing to young Timothy in this letter how thankful he was that the Lord Jesus counted him faithful, putting him into the ministry. Even though he was a blasphemer, a persecutor, and injurious or someone who injured others. But in verse 16 he says, But I obtained mercy even though I was the chief of sinners. Can you get here in this verse, as I leave it with you today, how appreciative Paul was, how much he expressed in his heart to young Timothy, how much he thought of what the Lord Jesus had done for him. And today, I want us to try and get that, even in our homes or our cars or wherever you're listening to it, a thankfulness on our hearts. This verse says... This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world. And whenever I was going over this, this gripped my soul again. Those two words in the middle of this verse, Jesus came. And today we are thankful, every one of us is born of the Spirit of God, that Jesus ever came into this world. Can you this day day draw from this portion the thankfulness and appreciation Paul has that Jesus came into the world to save a sinner like himself or like ourselves? Jesus came into this world with one purpose and that was to save sinners. The great and unique doctrine of the gospel. He came into the world. He therefore had a previous existence. He came. Therefore, he had a reason for coming. He had an intention, a plan in coming into this world. He came whenever he was under no necessity to come. He came to save, not to destroy. He came to reveal mercy, not to, um, not to condemn or to judge. He came to save sinners. The poor, the lost, the wandering, not to condemn them. He came to restore them, to favour with God and to raise them up and to forgive them for their sin, to make them ready for heaven. He came to save you today. As we listen to this this morning, or even throughout the day, we all love the Christmas scene at Bethlehem. The baby Jesus with Joseph and Mary, the shepherds, the wise men, and the singing of carols, away in a manger, no crib for his bed, the little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. I want you to think of that today, the manger scene, Jesus coming into the world. He came. But I also want you to think of 33 years later, Jesus was to die on a cross on Golgotha's hill in Jerusalem. We look at a different scene to Bethlehem. Just fulfill God's plan for the sin of mankind. The Apostle Paul, as related to young Timothy, was so thankful that Jesus came to save sinners and he met with him on the Damascus road. Many of you that are listening are saying, even in your heart, thank you Lord Jesus that you ever came 
into the sin-cursed world to pay the price for my sin. Is that the way you're feeling today as you listen? Thank you, Lord, for coming to save me. The Christmas story is only the beginning of a life that was sacrificed in love for you. Recently I read this lovely letter written by a young woman in her diary on the 23rd of December 2018 and I quote Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to earth for becoming fully human so that I might know you. Not a day goes by, Lord, that I don't lean on you for strength, for answers, for comfort, for joy. And I know that you are for me because you walked amongst us. There are no words how truly grateful I am. Lord, I know you sent Jesus to teach us how to live. Help me to live in a manner that's to pleasing to you. Let those around me see your beauty. Use me, Lord, to shine your light on the earth and to bring comfort to the needy, to teach others about your unfaithful and your unfailing love, to live as Jesus did. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Let today be a day of peace-filled celebration of you and your birth on that beautiful night you came, you gave us light. In your holy name. Amen. First Timothy verse one, chapter one and verse fifteen, Jesus came. This young woman, as she wrote this in her diary, was expressing how much it meant to her. Could you over this Christmas time express to the Lord Jesus how you feel that he came? Could you tell him even today? That you love him, that you appreciated him coming into this world to save sinners like us. May this Christmas be a time of reflection for you to thank him that he came into this world to save sinners and if you're not saved then just bow your head today and ask him to forgive you for your sin and to save you just where you are. That's why he came. And when you do it, you will find it to be the best Christmas you will ever have. I want to thank you for joining me today. And together let us thank him that he came into the world, that God gave his only begotten son, and that he lives within our hearts today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank thee this Christmas time from the bottom of our hearts that you ever came into this world to save sinners. I'm glad for this great plan of salvation of God that the Lord Jesus was given his only son to be the one to take away our sin. Thank you for the great love. And Lord, we express our thanks to thee today, even as we listen in our homes or in our cars or wherever we are, just bow our heads and just thank you that you came. Where would we be today without your wonderful salvation? May this Christmas be a time of thankfulness from our hearts, those of us who are saved. Lord, that you love us and that you changed our lives. And this babe at Bethlehem became the saviour of the world, the one that was sent with a plan. And Lord, we want to express our thanks to thee today. Bless each one who has need of healing today. Bless each one, Lord, even today that, uh, Lord, are maybe missing loved ones who have gone on before. I pray that you will undertake and watch over them and comfort them today. And may each one of us have a great Christmas, knowing that our Saviour came into this world to save sinners. In Jesus' name. Amen.